highways make it possible to span rivers and valleys. Tunnels enable us to pass through mountains. It takes incredible feats of engineering to grind a channel through solid ancient rock. And no tunnel is truly complete until it meets a major challenge, assuring the safety of vehicles that use it. Despite best intentions, things can go wrong. Bringing us to number seven on our countdown. We'll now head to the Alpine Mountains on the border between France and Italy, where a terrible fire broke out in 1999 in the Mont Blanc Tunnel. Towering 4,808 meters, the roof of Western Europe, Mont Blanc reaches its highest point in France, only a few kilometers from Italy. Traveling between the two countries through the Alps used to mean taking small mountain roads and narrow passes. Many of these winding corridors are closed in winter. A solution was devised after the war. To dig an 11.6 kilometer long tunnel to directly link Chamonix in France to Courmayeur in Italy. A monumental work whose route passes exactly in line with the Aiguille du Midi, Mont Blanc's legendary summit. The first attempts were dug on the Italian side in 1946, but the work officially started in 1959. It took six years to build the structure which would be called the Mont Blanc Tunnel. <laughs> when it was inaugurated in 1965, it was the longest road tunnel in the world and reduced the journey between France and Italy by nearly 100 kilometers. With more than 100,000 vehicles passing through per month, tunnel traffic is dense. Every day, the tunnel is used by tourists, cross-border workers, and especially heavy trucks, transporting goods between the two countries. Inside, everything had been planned so that drivers could cross the 12-kilometer tunnel in complete safety. But unfortunately, there's always room for risk. On March 24th, 1999, shortly after 10.45 a.m., a truck driver enters the tunnel on the French side. Four minutes later, smoke begins to billow from his cabin. At 10.53, after having traveled six kilometers, he stops. His truck is on fire. Unable to get close enough with his fire extinguisher, the driver decides to flee. Some motorists manage to pass the truck, others turn around. But the semi-trailers are stuck. The burning truck contains a load of highly flammable margarine, as explosive as a tanker truck. The small fire turns into an inferno. The temperature soars and thick, toxic smoke begins to spread. For the 40 blocked vehicles and most of their drivers, there is no way out. Côté italien du tunnel, les secours travaillent au ralenti à cause de la chaleur et de la fumée. The Italian firefighters racing to the scene are forced to abandon their vans just 300 meters from the fire. Un véhicule équipé d'une caméra thermique tente en ce moment de progresser dans le tunnel. In less than five minutes, all the vehicles located near the burning truck begin to ignite. The smoke, laden with carbon monoxide and cyanide, thickens. Electrical cables melt in the flames. The tunnel is plunged into darkness. La noirceur des visages éprouvés des pompiers en dit long sur l'intensité de la fumée qui s'est propagée dans le tunnel du Mont Blanc. At the heart of the place, the temperature exceeds 1,000 degrees Celsius and the cloud of toxic smoke spread to the entrance on the French side. Les pompiers n'ont pas pu approcher le camion en flammes à l'origine de la catastrophe. 
il est impossible d'accéder à une zone de 600 mètres envahie par une fumée épaisse. Fire continues to intensify and firefighters and emergency services cannot intervene without putting the lives of the rescuers in danger. Les secours redoutent d'y trouver de nouvelles victimes. The fire will burn for three days. Ce soir, le feu couvre toujours. La température atteint plusieurs centaines de degrés. Il est impossible d'approcher à moins de 300 mètres du foyer de l'incendie. And it will take five days for the temperatures inside the tunnel to drop to bearable levels so that the clearing work can begin. Il se pourrait qu'on ait un, deux, voire trois véhicules. Mais c'est vraiment une incertitude. When the rescuers finally manage to reach the center of the tunnel, they discover an apocalyptic scene. Charred bodies. 29 people died in their vehicles. Nine others tried to flee on foot, but died of asphyxiation. Les questions restent nombreuses sur les circonstances de la catastrophe. Deux enquêtes ont été ouvertes ce soir. Une technique administrative sous l'autorité du ministère des Transports, une autre judiciaire par le procureur de la République de Bonneville pour homicide involontaire. This tragedy, new safety measures are put in place in tunnels around the world to alleviate smoke in the event of a fire. Une centaine de familles a fait le déplacement jusqu'à Bonneville. During the trial in 2005, 12 people, including the mayor of Chamonix and the head of tunnel security, were found guilty of manslaughter and negligence. They were sentenced to prison terms of 4 to 30 months. The truck driver, who escaped unscathed by abandoning his vehicle, received a four-month suspended sentence. It's a sad irony that it takes 39 deaths and a tragedy like the one in the Mont Blanc tunnel to create better safety protocols. But the situation here is not unique.